Hey guys and welcome back to the start of week 12 of our Road to Max series. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic time and all of you who are still in lockdown are looking after each other and staying safe. But today we are starting off with archaeology again but this is probably going to be the only clip of archaeology for this week because tomorrow Start, it's the start of double XP weekend. Not really a weekend, but double XP week, whatever it's called nowadays. So I'm doing a little bit of archaeology uh, and then I've been stocking up, as you can see, on all of my bonus XP so far. I've been using the um, those medium stars you get from the oddments because they've been on sale again. But right now I am just... Concentrating on getting as close to 92 as possible before double XP starts and I think the majority of um, Of my XP is going to come from repairing artifacts and I think the most of them are going to come from the tetra compass logs the bandos ones Because uh, I still got quite a lot. I just need Some more of these, you know, the, just the two the new area we've unlocked Well, it's not really new now, but it's the one down in the southern area. Is it level 83? We unlocked it out, something like that. That's the one we need to get back to to get those last two pieces, those last two uh, artifacts to hand in another load of um, logs. And maybe we can get another load of tetracompus pieces so we can go and open some. That would be nice. But my main focus for today is just getting to, hopefully, get into 92 archaeology uh, or as close as possible. And then tomorrow double xp starts while i'm uh, at school when i'm teaching so i'll be starting that as soon as i get home and uh, hopefully working on those gains so we are starting this week at 1917 total level um so if we can get a level up today we'll be at 1918 when we start double xp but i am going to chill out put some netflix on do some archaeology and just have a nice relaxing day while it's nice and warm outside and we've got the windows open so i will be back with you guys tomorrow so it is friday it is double xp day and we are on 1 40 in the afternoon for me and i am gnt plus two so that means in 20 minutes is the start of double xp so i'm getting Troll invasion done out the way, just trying to do a couple of my uh, monthly D&Ds that I've not done yet. I did the oyster on the um, on the first, so that was done, but I haven't done this yet, so I thought I'll do a little bit of this. Get a little bit of this XP, because since this doesn't double anyway, the reward, so I'll get this done now, and then we can start on double XP as soon as it kicks off. Double XP has started and the gains are already coming in. We are starting at 1,918 levels. As soon as Double XP kicked off, I wrote that down in my notebook. Um, so we have got that set so we can see how many levels we are going to get. Take a guess. Try pause the video now and write down in the comments how many levels you think we're going to get over this 48 hours. Bearing in mind that I am teaching Monday to Friday and I've got two accounts to get through double XP on. So it's going to be very busy. It's going to be a lot of grinding and the Citadel here resets tomorrow. So I waited until now to cap because I really need wood cutting XP and it is slow as hell. So I thought I'll save capping, do that first and then when it resets I can do it again, get double, well, twice the amount of uh, wood cutting XP from it. Well, technically that would be four times since it's already doubled with double XP. Hmm, or maybe six times because I've got bonus XP as well, but it's a lot of wood cutting XP anyway. It will save me having to spend too much time um, chopping trees down because that bores me. I don't know why, never used to. When I first started my main account all those years ago, it never. I used to like woodcutting, but now it is stupidly boring. So I'm going to get through this and then we are gonna start working on our levels. Now my main 
goal at the minute is getting everything past level 60. So that is my first goal. Then after we've done that, then we can work on level 70, but I don't know whether I'll reach that with invention and prayer, so we'll have to see. Maybe we can get everything else, but I'm just gonna finish capping first. So the grind is happening, I'm on the way. I am actually doing Hunter. As you can see, I have some proteins. Unfortunately, I don't really have as many proteins as I wanted for the double XP weekend. Double XP week, why do I keep saying weekend? Um, which I'm kind of disappointed about because with all these treasure hunter event, uh, event things where you get like multiples, you know, you get times 10 of things or whatever. Um, I was hoping I'd get some proteins built up, but I've barely got anything. The most I've got is traps, which is great for Hunter, I guess. But, um, yeah, would have been nice to have a lot more uh, proteins to work through. Get some of the other levels up as well, especially like um, planks for construction. Because construction is going to be really difficult without proteins. But right now... I am going to be chilling here. So I'm doing chin chompers at the minute. Um, I was looking at the leveling guide on the wiki and uh, I, I really want the best XP per hour. Uh, well, XP per uh, protein. So at the minute, that's chin chompers. Once I get to 63, I'm going to go down to the Feldip uh, hunter area. And I'm going to switch to the red chins there. And I'll just keep doing the red chins the whole time. Um, until I can do the uh, Jadinkos instead. I'm not sure what level that is. So I'll have to have a look. But I'll probably use up all my proteins uh, on the red chins for now. And I'm hoping I'll get to level 70. Or at least close to level 70. So we'll have to see how far we get. So uh, let's spend a bit of time doing this and hop through those levels as fast as we can. And there we have it, just over an hour. The 600 protein traps we had took us to 3306 XP away from 70 so close by the protein so that's why i just uh ran up well teleported up to yanil and bought a couple of the normal traps for now um but we got there level 70 is done so it's time to move on to our next skill now i think once i've banked this i am going to focus on fletching next because that's been my lowest level for a while. I did do a little bit of fletching, but it's generally been around the lowest one the whole time. So I'm gonna go get that up. Now I've got a load of stuff to make mithril arrows, and then I'm gonna move on to adamant arrows after that. Now I don't think I'll be able to do the rune ones yet. That's 75, I think, and my goal is gonna be 70 at the minute. Um, so I think I'm just gonna power through this a little bit and see how we get how, how how we get going with fletching okay so we are down here working on fletching and i'm in world 99 on um at the market where all these portables are because it's uh well it's the same here as it's in world 84 except World 84 is just awful on double XP. I hate that whole take one step then it freezes lag thing. So it's kind of annoying. But I'm working a little bit on fletching now. I uh, got my stuff ready. So I've got 10,000, well 9,999 for some reason. Um, mithril arrowheads. I thought I've got all these uh, training dummies as well. So I might use them while I'm stood down here. Now I've got all these pulse score boosts as well. Um, so I'm going to use some of these up and then see how far we get with all these mithril arrowheads. Arrow so we got through to level 60. So we can do a little bit more. 
Now, I've had enough of fletching for now. I am going to come back and do some more later. But like I said, I want to get everything to level 60 plus first. So, although I'm going to come back and do some more fletching, I'm going to leave it here. Now we're at 60. Um, and head up to do my next level. So, I've been thinking about what I'm going to do. Uh, and I think I'm going to go do some dungeoneering. Because I've got my main account doing dungeoneering because that is... Well, on my main account, that is my double XP. Dungeoneering. Um, so I think I'm going to go with someone from the clan and my main account and go do some dungeoneering. Because, I mean, two screens, an account on each, it's not exactly difficult to do dungeoneering on two screens at the same time. Um, so I think we'll do that and we can get some decent XP because doing dungeoneering solo is really annoying and i don't like it but doing it in a group and it's probably one of my favorite skills so i'm gonna head up and do some dungeoneering so dungeoneering is underway we just reached level 60 i didn't press record earlier i just realized as we were about to level up that i hadn't been recording but we just reached level 60 dungeoneering see we are getting getting done quite nicely we're gonna keep going since uh, the group's going okay we're doing a decent speed out of it with just the three of us um and it's pretty easy doing it on two accounts at once uh, so i'm kind of just opening doors and it, obviously with all the guardian doors it makes it a lot easier but uh, i'm going to keep going with dungeoneering and then once again we'll move on to the next next skill after this I know it's going to be a lot of clips, but there's going to be a lot of stuff I'm going to be jumping between this week. So, training dummies. I had these in my bank. These are the ranged ones, because range is a awful, awfully low combat skill for me. I haven't really been leveling it. I actually only the only reason I've got them range levels is because I went to ED three with some of the clan members, um, and leveled a bit of everything, but focused mostly on magic. So um, yeah, range is going to be a focus for this one, and who knows, maybe it'll be my highest combat stat by the end. But at least for now, we got level sixty range just from these combat dummies and you can see how many I've got left over so I'm just going to stand here enjoying the pull score boosts and uh, use all these dummies up. Do you ever remember a time when clips on the video were more than like 30 seconds long? Because I don't. It just seems like I'm jumping from one thing to the next today which, well, this week, which I guess I am, really. So we're on to fishing now and they think this is the slowest one ever this is ridiculously slow i don't want to do it so there's nothing for me to do here except stand and then disassemble the fish because i can't be bothered to bank them um when my inventory is full so i'm doing this on here and uh, dungeoneering on my main account and then I'm going to go do some Slayer as well. But we finally reached level 60. I am going to need to get that higher. But I've had enough for now. This is so boring. I think I'm a little bit insane. I'm doing prayer on double XP. That is a waste of double XP. But never mind. I'm getting the most out of it. I need all 60. And if, if, if prayer is not over 60, then I'm not going to meet my goal. So I got... 500 dragon bones and I come out here into the wildy to do this the chaos altar um, Just to Try and well level it a little bit See how far we can get with this so it doesn't take long really 500 bones So you know 10 10 minutes of double XP wasting that isn't really gonna be bother bothering me that much um, especially when I'm like I'm lobbying for everything so if i need to find someone on the wiki instead of standing there to read it i'll lobby to save my double xp time so 10 minutes on prayer that's nothing so now we are on to yet another skill 
we are having fun hopping from skill to skill this week and next is agility so i'm not spending money on silver hawks no matter how many people tell me oh red one that's nice no matter how many people tell me just buy some silver hawks to do agility my answer is always going to be no i'm never going to buy silver hawk feathers and if I get any on Treasure Hunter that are Silverhawk Feathers, not Silverhawk Down, then they'll get sold. Because honestly, I think Silverhawk Feathers are a waste of money. And especially at my level, when you get next to nothing. So I'd rather do agility the way I did it before. Um, I will use my Silverhawk boots if I get Silverhawk Down from anything. But... You, you don't get many of them at a time. That's not very often. So I think I'll just like use them as I get them. But right now, I am trying to do agility. It is late in the evening. I am tired and want to fall asleep. But I want to get agility done. And I've been looking at this because I can do the second part of the Anachronia course now. And I was looking at the XP you get. And I was thinking of doing both sections that I can do. Because obviously I can't go all the way around until I'm 85. Ooh, codex pages. Um, but then I looked. When I finished that one I've just done then, um, I'm getting 900 and something XP from completing that section, which is the section that needs level 30. But then this section where I'm on now, which is the level 50... I think that's right level 50 section and it's it's this bit here so it's after that um you walk across the vine after you go through the cave so it starts after that and it goes along to i think it's the dinosaur bones that's right next to herbie werby you'll see that's the next next bit so just down here if i can never search diagonal here i hate it it's annoying me but this one here, so you climb up, then walk across it, and then climb off the bones. And that's the end of the level 50 section. Now, once we've done this, you'll see the difference in the XP gain. Because you get a bit more per obstacle, not much. Um, but as we get across here, and then we go down the last one, you get a bonus for this level 50 section complete. And see the... Now, there we go. We got over 2,000 XP for that little section. Um, actually, can I get down here? No, not on the skull. Can I get down this one? I don't know whether... Probably not, since the, the, the skull is where it finishes. I don't know what level I need to get down to there. No, nope, can't get down there. If I could do that one obstacle, I could get down to Herbie Werby, but never mind. So I'm going to stick with this level 50 section and just go back and two for a while and um, get my agility up that way. So I am back to fishing once again and falling asleep, but not like before. I had enough of trout and salmon and feathers and standing in lumberage disassembling things. So I decided to come and have a go in the deep sea fishing hub. I've not been here before, so I've been here for a little bit. These random events are nice. Uh, I wish there was other people here though, so it kind of actually got the boosts from them, but never mind, it gets me a bit more fishing XP from uh, doing these. But while I am here, there isn't much I can do. I can catch the minnow, but that's not very good XP. But what I've been doing is this big net thing up here. So there's not many people here, but I can catch whoever I want. So sometimes i get more xp than others some inventories give me decent things and i get more xp sometimes it's not too much but it's nice and easy it's very afk it's better fishing xp than was doing before or it seems like it. it seems to be leveling faster and i'm getting some decent food out of it that i can either keep which i probably will actually keep it for cooking i'm, I'm banking it when i've got a full inventory um and it's decent food it's better than what I was using, the, better than the catfish I'm using already. So I'm probably going to stay here the whole time now and just fish to level 70. 
because we're almost there anyway, so why not? So we are about to finally reach level 70. And then once this is done, then I am going to go another, to do another probably, well, equally boring skill. I would say slightly less boring skill for me. And I'm going to head up to the rune span and do some rune crafting. Now I know the rune span's slow, but at this level, it's it's not too bad. It's quite quite decent, especially as I have... 2,000 of that uh, that dust you get from the rune spheres because I was gathering it and then I had to go I had to log out and leave and never got to hand the dust in so I can go hand that in as well which will give me a nice little chunk of XP so I'm going to dump all this in here and then head up and do some rune crafting rune crafting is simple like stupidly simple I literally just have to stand there and do nothing especially if it's not just the um the creatures in here if you're doing the actual you know I don't even know what they're called the nodes that's the one if you're doing the nodes instead it's just click once every five minutes and then wait uh and then Every two clicks, a yellow wizard shows up and you go give them some of your runes. It's like stupidly easy. See? Level 70. 70 rune crafting. It's not my lowest skill by far, which is unusual, but I'm quite enjoying it in here. I wanted to do safe cracking for thieving, but I hadn't done all the capers, so I've been running around doing this last caper as quick as possible because I feel like doing mini quests is a waste of double XP no matter how much I like quests and mini quests they should not be done during double XP but this one now is the last of the capers which will give me 30,000 um, thieving XP so that kind of makes up for it a little bit but I guess with safe cracking 30,000 thieving if I can even say that, that's difficult to say. 30,000 thieving XP kind of makes up for the five minutes it took me to complete the, uh, the caper anyway. So time to go get some safe cracking done. I hope you are not getting annoyed by all the jumping between... Uh, ooh, hmm. Which one of these should I get? So that was a bit of an abrupt, abrupt um, ending to that last clip that I've just realised. But I got a bit distracted with the, the keys because there was a bow I've never heard of on there. I didn't know idea if it was any good or anything. But in the end, I went for the Herblore XP. It's double XP weekend. It was a huge Herblore lamp. I, and I don't really have a lot of Herblore supplies. So I thought, why not? That'll help a little bit. Um, so we went for that and then we got another red afterwards and got a huge star so I got a little bit more bonus XP so I am thieving now and these saves saves safes are super super fast unfortunately I missed uh, pressing record when I got to level 70 but it was literally like 15 seconds before I started recording we hit level 70 and I've only been doing safe cracking for like I don't know half an hour maybe with the bonus XP and double XP um I've just been doing what I can and these two are the ones I've most recently unlocked I mean you can already see I've done one uh, one safe while I've been talking and then this one and we are already almost a quarter of a level done from 70 to 71 so it's like ridiculously fast. So I might keep doing this after, you know, once we've got, if we get everything to level 70 uh, by the end of double XP, if I've still got time left, I might just focus completely on thieving and get close to 99. Obviously I'm not going to get 99 because archaeology isn't 99 yet. Um, but I, I'm, thieving's so easy now. It, it's nothing like it used to be, but it's really, really easy, really good and... It's not completely AFK because you have to te teleport around, so that's not too bad. So, um, 
I'm going to do a couple more of these before we move on to the next skill. But now we've got 70, we don't really need to be uh, keep. We don't really need to keep using time on uh, thieving. So I'm back to capping again. Um, second time for this episode. I know it's a little bit odd. Um, I'm going to try and keep things short for the last little bit because it is uh, Wednesday now. So we still, not Wednesday, it's Tuesday now. Tomorrow is Wednesday, which will be the last day of this week. I don't even know what day of the week it is because I'm going crazy. But anyway, tomorrow is the last day of this week and I've still got quite a lot of things that I'm probably going to get done in that time. So I'm trying to keep it a little bit short. So I'm going to get some summoning XP here now. Just cap out on the, the summoning I can do and then go do a little bit more woodcutting. Short clips, but we need to update. 70 agility, we did it. I came down to this ancient throne room thing and did the bikes because it was easy. Well, easy-ish. It's kind of annoying when that purple twirly thing moves and then you have to kind of jump down from a bike and run over and jump on and then it only lasts like 30 seconds and you've got to do it again. That's really quite annoying. I've just realised how fast I'm talking. I don't know. Maybe it's the tiredness that gets me. Maybe it's the amount of speaking I've been doing this week. I don't know. But there we go. Agility is now level 70. So let's see what's next. So I'm summoning at the minute and this has been stupidly fast. Um, I tried to buy the stuff I needed and, and couldn't buy them on the Grand Exchange. They weren't buying for like stupid prices. So I just went to the fishing shop in uh, Port Sarim and uh, bought a load of harpoons. And there is the last inventory of harpoons we needed to get to level 70. So that unlocks some nice new things and uh, probably even easier to level up from here. So we are running short on time. We are coming up on half an hour video, which I try not to do, but it's double XP. So, you know, we have to do at some point. So I'm gonna finish up using, I'll probably do a bit more uh, summoning just to use up all the harpoons that I bought. And then we're gonna move on because we've now got, I think, herb law, some more fletching and some construction to do. So we are getting going on this one. Herblot is very, very close to level 70. This should give us, there it is, level 70 Herblot complete. And I have not bought a single herb. All of the herbs I've been from Slayer or from farming. So the only things I've actually had to buy for them are any uh, extra of the tertiary ingredients. Although I did have a lot of them from Slayer as well. Um, so it didn't actually cost too much. I'm going to keep going a little bit more. Um, but then I'm going to go and move on to something else. I think next I might go on and do some fletching. Since I'm already down at Lumbridge Market anyway. So fletching is going up. And once again I'm trying to keep these clips as short as possible. To keep this video down. But there we go. Level 70 fletching and we are almost done it is now an hour till midnight on uh the wednesday so once it hits midnight we are moving on to the next week we'll be on week 13 so let's get this last hour finished construction is slow when you've not got proteins and scenes as i think the majority, if not all, of my construction XP so far on here has been from Proteans or those god statues, the D&D &D thing. I didn't realise how slow this was. It was even slower before. I can build this pawnbroker now, which is a little bit better, but before I, before I was having to do the toy boxes. And, and it's ridiculous. It would double XP and bonus XP, and I was getting like 600 and some XP each. And you could only build a few and then you have to run back to the bank because I can't bring a beast of burden in and I don't have a um, a butler because the ones I can get at this level is pointless. Um, it takes them longer to go to the bank and get them than it does for me to use them so I'm waiting around a lot anyway. So I'm running back in two and I'm, I'm tempted to go do 
one of the daily challenges and get a key and hope I get some proteins. So I am done pretty much for this week. We are now at midnight and I've had enough. I need to go sleep. I'm doing this last statue. It's not going to get me to level 70, but we are on level 69. So it's not too bad. I'm not going to complain. It's not like double XP is over, which you can see we still have a lot of uh, double XP hours to use up. So we're going fine. We're going to stick at 69 construction and we will finish that next week. So we are finishing today, so the first week off at 2053 total level, which isn't bad since we started double XP weekend at, was it 1918, so we've done really good. So thank you so much guys for watching, make sure you are all staying safe out there during this um, lockdown period, no matter where you're from. And I hope you all are enjoying the videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.